This is what we're gonna be doing today. This is but the parts we need to flash mod my iPod. Hello everybody, and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, as I already said, we are going to be flash modding my iPod 4th gen. Backstory, this isn't my iPod. This is actually my dad's old iPod. And he, he, he the screen broke around 2014, and I've had it ever since. And now, today, I'm gonna be flash modding it. So these are the parts we have. We have the original front and back case and the headphone jack. We have the extreme SD to CF adapter and it works with an SDXC card. We also have the CF to 1.8 IDE adapter. Finally, we have a 128 gig micro SD card. So we're gonna move the good parts to the side. I'm just gonna move this. These are the bad parts. This is the cracked screen. Very sad. These are the bad organs. And then speaking of the organs, you might be asking, who's our organ donor? These are just some leftover tools we need. We're just gonna set those aside. Well, this will be our organ donor. This is gonna be my, this is an iPod Classic 4th Gen I got off of eBay with, with a working battery, but has a very sad hard drive. So we're gonna get into our, Let's open the box and see what we get. So I'd say it's packed very well. We're just gonna, and then we get some free bubble wrap. Isn't that awesome? You can, I can tell it has a hard drive in there. So this right here is our organ owner. Look, it's a HP. You're right. That's another obscure Dank Pods reference. It's a HP. And then you can tell it's nice and heavy and it does have a hard drive. So that's very good. This is our parts pod. We're just gonna fold up the bubble wrap and put it inside this box. Let's set it aside for now. I just need, I just need to go grab my 30 pin cable. I'll be right back. I'm back, I have my 30 pin cable and my USB-C to USB-A adapter because I'll be using my MacBook to restore this, but if not, I do have my old Intel Macs ready to go. And I know my old Air has a backup of my hard drive. And I, I know like these like charging with, these like charging with the iPad charger. I'm just gonna grab that as well. Got my iPad charger. So we're gonna open up this pod right here, the good pod. Use, I, I know this one has never been opened up before. But unfortunately, I do not have the tool, the necessary tool to do it. But instead, I, what I do have is is my. But instead, what I do have is my flathead screwdriver. I beg you, do not open your pods like this. So I'm just gonna get this iPod open, and we're gonna get the guts out. I accidentally got the pod turning on. So this this is what it does. You have and you got a clicking hard drive. So I'm just gonna turn it off. I think it's menu and center that, that turns it off. Correct. So the good news is the pod is open. So this is the inside of our pod right now. So we need to carefully just remove our hard drive doodler right here. It's a Toshiba micro drive. And the good news is Here's the bat. I have no, I'm just, I'm trying to be super careful because, so the good news is our bat case is free, which we do not need anymore. And then the, this greasy old hard drive can just pop out like that. This is basically everything we need for a pod. This is gonna be a pretty nice iPod, I'd say. So we're gonna carefully disconnect our battery thing. I think we could, I think we could just keep it as is. I think this will be good as is. So this is gonna, this is all just, these are all my bad parts. So I think right now we can leave this pod as is using the new front case. And then we can use the old back case for my, my old pod. So we're just gonna connect our the old headphone assembly. 
we're gonna, but we need to format this SD card first. Unfortunately, I don't have my SD adapter for my Mac, so off to the PC it is. Oh, never mind. I, I think I do have my old Mac, my MacBook Pro. I'm just gonna go grab it right now, and I'm just gonna format the card. So the good news is my SD card has been formatted, so you know what time it is. We gotta get into our micro S SD thing. We gotta get into our other adapters, so I'm just gonna set our old front plate and touch wheel off to the side, because I'm not sure if the original touch wheel works or not. So here's our SD and then our CF adapters. Let's start by opening the CF to 1.8 IDE. So, here it is. So you know this little part here, you better bend it down or else it will kill your screen. Don't ask me how I know that. Another obscure dank pods reference. So I'm just gonna, and then don't forget to bend these guys down on the back because they too will kill your screen. Don't ask me how I know that. Even though this is my first time flash modding a pod. So I'd, I'd say, I think we're ready to go. So I think this is the thing you need to fold down. So I know like the screen's on the other side. So we're just gonna, I think we're gonna plug it in like that. And but I, I'm just gonna get the Extreme CF adapter open. And then it comes in these this little case, which I know like Dankpod says you can store your iPod mini hard drives in there, but I do not have an iPod mini since what I have now is basically the bigger version of the iPod mini. So here's our adapter. We're just gonna put this guy in here. We're gonna put this guy in here. And we're just gonna put this guy, finally, in here. We're gonna close it up like that. Oh, we have an Apple logo. So, I think, I'm sure if it will stay on the Apple logo for forever. So, so we're just gonna see if it does or not. So the thing is, my iPod, I forgot to plug in the entirety of the CF to SD adapter. So we're just gonna plug this thing into the computer. And it's off to the races for the for the restoration. I'm just gonna get this in and this in. This will be going into our pod. Oh, Apple iPod. Woo! So it's it's saying do not disconnect. Let's see if it, it's recognized in Mac OS Finder. iPod. So, oh, and it's a U2 motherboard. Oh my goodness, this is actually, look, it's literally a U2 iPod, but it's in the white casing. 128 gigs, woo! So it, it's just gonna show up. And then let, let's check disk utility. See if it shows up there. Whoops, accidentally opened my contacts. Let's see if it shows up in disk utility. Apple iPod Media. Isn't that awesome? But then it's it's not showing it's not being detected by Finder. It's taking forever. Because this is an M2, but I also do have my old 2008 iMac over there because then like some people have said. Let's just try relaunching Finder. This, because, yes, this is my first time flash modding an iPod. It, that's quite shocking. It's saying, do not disconnect now. So we're just gonna reopen Finder because 
This is so weird that my computer is acting like this. This is actually like, this is like a very new MacBook Air. I just got it this year. And now it just don't, doesn't want to destroy any iPods. Now Finder won't open. So it looks like we're going to have to do it on my old Mac. So we have it plugged into my old iMac. I'm just going to log in. And we're just going to pull up iTunes. Cancel. So we just can see if the iPod shows up in iTunes. You can see it's thinking. It's always good to have an old Mac around because my, my modern Mac didn't want to restore my... Welcome to your new iPod. So let's click continue. Get started. So we're just get, we're gonna we're gonna restore it. Well, a lot of things have happened since then. The iPod's been successfully restored. It's beautiful now. You know what was going on. So firstly, the compact flash card wasn't plugged in properly. It restored using my iMac, but then I had to plug it into the wall to finish restoring it. And it didn't work with my USB-C brick, so I had to use the iPhone charger to restore it. Now it's been successfully restored. We're just gonna plug it into my computer and we're gonna sync it. Because look, extras. I think that's when you go to, ab I'm just curious where you go to about settings, about iPod, 119 gigabytes. So we're just gonna plug it into the computer. Do not disconnect. So you can see it shows up on the desktop as a USB drive. And yep, it shows up in Finder as well. Sync your iPod because it's also, it's actually a FrankenPod because it has the front case and the touch wheel from an HP, but then it has the motherboard from a U2 pod. So here it is. We're just, it does have my full name there. So we're gonna sync it, so you know what that means. and my iPod is ready to go. So we're just gonna move this off to the side. We're gonna give it a test with my Bluetooth speaker. We're just gonna bring it in. So we're just gonna fire it up. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. Bluetooth connected. It just connected to something. I have no idea what, it, I think it connected to my iPod, iPad. I'm just gonna check. I just disconnect. I'm just gonna like, kick it off of the Bluetooth for my iPad, but we're gonna plug it in to my iPod. So here we go. You know what we're gonna do? You know. We're gonna be doing Otis McDonald's Scarlet Fire. Music that won't land me in jail. Oh, look. It can scarlet fire. Because it's first words after basically waking up from a coma are now scarlet fire. Yep, it can, it can scarlet fire. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching me on this wild journey through modding my iPod Classic 4th Gen. Please like, watch, and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye, y'all.